What's up guys? So a couple weeks ago we posted a photo of this little clamping bar and we've gotten a lot of questions about it since. So I want to give you this little video just to show you what it does and how to make one of your very own. So hopefully it'll help you out in your shop. So in order for this to work, we got to start with one and a half by one and a half square stock, whatever length you want. Earlier today, I went ahead and flattened it, planed it off. I'm not going to show you how to do that because if we did that, we'd be here all day. So start with one and a half by one and a half. All right, after you've cut your stock, joined it, planed it, made sure it's square, we're gonna go ahead and cut some relief grooves where the dovetail slots are gonna go. We're gonna cut these relief grooves in two passes. So for your first pass, we're gonna set our fence to 5 8 and then we're gonna move it a little bit closer for the second pass. We cut these relief grooves because this is very hard wood and we don't wanna stress out our router or our router bit and burn anything out while we're cutting these dovetail slots. With our relief grooves cut, we can go ahead and take it over to the router. So, so those relief grooves that we just cut over on the table saw, we set the fence to 5 8 and we're gonna do the same thing with this fence here. This 5 8 is gonna be the distance from the fence to the center of the bit, which is exactly where we wanna be. Let's cut some dovetails. All right, your dovetail grooves are cut. Now all we have to do is chamfer the inside and the outside corners. We're gonna start with the outside corner and we're gonna take a little bit more meat off of it. So to make our cut, we set our fence scale to one and 11 sixteenths and our blade's gonna be tilted at 45 degrees. And we're gonna take a little bit less off the inside corner. So with your blade still tilted to 45 degrees, we're gonna set our fence to one and 3 sixteenths. So that's the long and short of it. It's just a simple little jig to take the headache out of clamping miters. I'd love to see some modifications to this. If you have your own ideas, please feel free to share it with us on social media. We wanna see what you're working on. Have fun.